Welcome to the second episode of my NetData series. Today we're going to do the actual installation of NetData. Before we can start installing, we need to figure out which way we are going to choose. There are many ways of getting NetData on your system. I'm just going to focus on the two main ones, as the other ones are just kinda the same, but with more effort. You can take a look at the NetData documentation to learn about them. The ones I am going to teach you about are the one-line installation script and the offline installation. The one-line script is really simple, but requires an internet connection. If your server is behind a proxy server that breaks HTTPS encryption, and you didn't install your certificates first, then you can also use the offline installer. Both ways utilize the same installation script, which can take some flags to customize your installation. To disable anonymous usage statistics, you could supply dash dash disable telemetry, or to disable automatic updates of any kind, you could pass dash dash no dash updates. There are some more to be found in the docs, which are linked below. Okay, let's take a look at the standard one-line installation script. This is the recommended way to install NetData if your server is connected to the internet. Okay, so we are here on a pretty basic Debian 10 install. We are logged in as the monitor user here via SSH. Um, and this monitor user is actually also uh, allowed to, to use sudo. So with all of that uh, ready to go, we just have to do something very basic. We go to the website netdata.cloud or you could also just probably type net data into DuckDuckGo. This is their like little overview page here. We just scroll down all the way to installation. And here we have the basic one line installation, which is actually kind of everything for, for this section here. Anyways, this just essentially downloads the, the script, which then downloads and installs everything. So note, we can run this here without typing sudo in front of it, because this will uh, do everything, uh, all its uh, uh, rights, privileges, elevation uh, when it needs it. Uh, we're just going to install uh, curl and wget here as well. And then this is actually working. We just have to press enter now a couple of times while it downloads and installs all the dependencies. Okay, with all the dependencies installed, all that's left to do is just to press enter one last time while it builds and installs that data. Okay, that was it. The data is now installed. We get some info about uh, the uninstall scripts and update scripts and everything. And we are now ready to go. So let's just take a look at the dashboard here. So we could just go to the IP of your server, colon, one and four nines and enter and there we are the data is installed and running and collecting data already isn't that beautiful the offline installation is a little bit more involved but it basically uses the same script we just need to download it and all other pieces it would otherwise download once we did that we can run the script and tell it where our downloaded components are so let's just change our directory to the temp directory where we will be downloading all the files to. If you are uh, doing that in like the, the actual scenario where you would download that on one machine that has access to the internet and then move everything over to a second machine that has no internet connection, then you would obviously do that in like a separate special folder. But we're just going to use the temp directory here just because that is pretty much fine. That was the uh, kickstart sh script, which will be doing the actual installation stuff. There's the next one. No, it's the, no, it's the right one. Okay, great. Um, so I actually modified this command. This is a little bit different than it is in the documentation. That's because uh, the one from documentation didn't really work for me. Um, yeah, so just something you want to look out for. Uh, I've linked this one in the video description as well oh man this copying here from my document is a little bit wonky okay and now we have that and then there is okay there we are now we have all the necessary components uh, downloaded we can also 
take a look at that. So we have uh, config stuff, go to plugin stuff, the script that installs the record packages, our script that we will execute, and the uh, netdata files itself, and some other stuff that was already in my tab directory. Um, now we have to just theoretically copy this all over to the offline machine via your local network, via USB stick or whatever your preferred method is. If this is copying over, which, yeah, this looks now a little better. Okay, so what is this doing? Is it uh, executes bash with the kickstart sh script? And then we're just saying, hey, we're going to use some local files here. Uh, the first one is going to be the uh, actual netdata tar.gc file. So we have to give it the, the correct the correct version here as well. Then the SHA-256 sums, txt, this is staying the same. And the go the binary thing is also changing a little bit. Config tar gc and then sorry, quick packages is all the correct one. Okay, then it scans the system and finds out that we have to still install some packages, which we are now doing here real quick. Okay, so now we have downloaded everything. This might take a little while for you, depending on your internet connection speed and depending on uh, which packages are already installed on your machine, obviously, as well. Um, so now we can uh, go and install that data because now, well, we've downloaded everything. As it says here, you're about to build and install the data to your system. It lists what it's going to do, and we're not just going to press enter and let it run. Okay, that was it. Just didn't, didn't take too long. There are some uh, information up here, like where the uninstaller script is, where the update script is. Uh, yeah, the update script that is uh, uh, automatically updating. Um, yeah, and that's basically already it. So now we can just take a quick look at the uh, the web interface that you already saw from the other part. Okay, and again, after connecting to the IP address of your machine, colon one and then four nines, we get taken to the NetData dashboard that you already already know and maybe are a little bit familiar with. Now that NetData is up and running, you just have to lay back and wait for tomorrow when I will cover the installation process of Prometheus. Until then, leave us up and have a great time. See you all tomorrow.